to it, where of course the terror of realizing that is that it actually starts to matter what you do. And you might say, well, that's better than living a meaningless existence. It's better for it to matter. But I mean, if you really ask yourself, would you be so sure if you had the choice? I can live with no responsibility whatsoever. The price I pay is that nothing matters. Or I can reverse it and everything matters. But I have to take the responsibility that's associated with that. It's not so obvious to me that people would take the meaningful path. You know, when you say, well, nihilists suffer dreadfully because there's no meaning in their life and they still suffer. Yeah, but the advantage is they have no responsibility. So that's the payoff, and I actually think that's the school I started swimming. <laughs> the first, the first uh, physical exercise routine I did, I enrolled in a swim exercise course, I think it was called. So it was me and this like really overweight kid, and like these 60 year old women and men, they could out exercise me like mad. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> and, uh, the overweight kid, you know, we'd be just panting ourselves three quarters to death at the end of the bloody workout and these 60 year old women who weren't in great shape were like, you know, chatting away uh, as if nothing was going on at all in the pool. So that was quite embarrassing, and as was going to the weight. I'd say, you see these Yale students complaining about their oppression, it just, it just leaves me aghast. It's like, well, we're against the ruling class. It's like, no, 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 you're baby ruling class <laughs> members. You're young. <laughs> the only reason you're not rich is because you're young. You know, that's the best. One rep, one time, one time, right here, right now, now is the time. Right here.